The Shang lived near the Yellow River in China. For many years, this dynasty lived only as a myth in the minds of artists and authors. However, in 1899, Wee Taeyong discovered bones with weird carvings. He devoted his life to tracking these bones and found they came from an area known as Anyang. Years later, due to his discoveries, a group of archaeologists found the lost Shang civilization at Anyang. No longer would the Shang dynasty be brushed off as a myth. The bones that Taeyang discovered were named dragon bones. Over the years, scholars translated the carvings. Eventually, it was realized that these carvings were the root of modern Chinese letters. The Shang legends told of a people who would cruelly sacrifice hundreds of people. It also told of skilled warriors, bronze, and female prodigies. At first, the scholars believed the majority of legends to be larger than life. In 1976, archaeologists discovered the tomb of legendary Fu Hao. Inside the tomb, they found many sacrifices. The sacrifices were both men and women. They were comrades and servants as well as prisoners of war. Even children were sacrificed. The Shang believed the sacrifices would become loyal servants in the afterlife. This is just one of the many ways the Shang worshipped their ancestors. The Shang civilization was centered around conquest. Only the emperor was allowed to command the soldiers. However, military power does not guarantee stability. Over the years, due to invaders and treachery, the capital moved several times. The kingdom was divided into many states ruled by leaders appointed by the king. Eventually, due to the major projects and long wars, famine began. The farmers who were forced to build walls and tombs for the emperors began to rebel. To this day, the last Shang emperor is recorded as a cruel man. The new Zhao rule proved their legitimacy by claiming the emperor had forsaken the gods. The Shang ended up being conquered by its own peasants and slaves.